changes the chemical of the water. The kids may have been out of class for the summer, but there's been plenty of testing going on. Hillsboro schools looking for lead in the drinking water. We thought it was very important to be proactive, even though there's no requirement. The average age of a school in Hillsboro County is 50. Some newer, some built a century ago. So far, they've gotten to 53 of the 270 sites they intend to test. And so far, of the 1,781 samples taken, 26 have come back positive for lead. We immediately took action on those. We shut them down. We've replaced those. And then no one can use them again until we've retested them and make sure they're clean. EPA standards allow 20 parts per billion of lead in drinking water. The district is drawing the line at an even more strict 15. I'm glad that they're looking into it. Two of Kara Rock's kids go or have gone to some of the schools where lead has been found. While she's happy to hear they're fixing it, she's still worried. Absolutely. Their bodies are developing. Their brains are so sensitive to environmental impact. The population we really worry about are young children. Dr. Fred Aleguis, director of Florida's Poison Control Center at TGH, says lead has no natural place in the human body and it can lead to problems. It's like learning disabilities, cognitive issues later in life. But Aleguis says the number of cases being found in Hillsborough schools is relatively low. And lead exposure, says Dr. Aleguis, is really more of a medical concern for children who are six years old and younger. The vast majority of kids in the Hillsborough County school system are already older than that. I guess it's a good thing. Parents like Rock say they'd still like to see any lead removed. District officials say they're working on it, doubling the number of test workers. But it will still take several more months to finish the job. It's important that we find out what's there. Even if we aren't going to like what we see, then we need to immediately take action and fix that. In Tampa, Eric Lasser, 10 News.